Roger that. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to What Rainforest Explorers Storytelling. I'm Sherry. I'm Ellen. And we, today we're volunteering to help a project in the Garage Creation Rainforest Station again. We are going to follow some very important directions Ooh. in order to complete this, this project and we cannot get lost along the way. No, okay. We'll also take a look at some important directions that God gives us for our lives. To yes. help us keep our, on, on our path. We'll find those directions in his two word here, the Bible. Hey, Rainforest Explorers, my loving God gives directions. My loving God gives directions. Jesus, Jesus leads the way. way. Yes. Okay, Ellen, trees are so important. They are. They provide clean air, mm -hmm. homes for animals, and food for people and animals. Both, yes. Yeah. When we need trees for woods and paper, we can just plant more trees to help take care of God's rainforest, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So today, we're going to go out and we're going to plant some trees. Wow. Yes. They're going to provide new homes for rainforest animals. Are they going to be tall trees that we plant or just little ones? Just, we're going to start them out as these small seedlings oh, here. Oh, okay. And then they'll someday grow to be really tall trees. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's see. What do you think we're going to need? I think we, I have my backpack, but it's kind of empty because I knew we were going to go on a hike. Yes. And I brought mine. They told me to bring mine. Okay. So let's see. Um, I think we need... If we're gonna plant, that means we're gonna need a shovel. Shovel? Okay, and I got one too. Okay, and good. Sometimes we don't like to get our hands dirty, so. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we need our gloves. And then, oh, I've got the what plant do you food. have? Is this that plant, plant food? food? And yes. we put that on when we're putting that in the, in the, in the dirt. In the dirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, water bottle. Okay. So here's a water bottle. And I got, bottle. A, I got one for the plants. Okay. And then here's one for me to drink. Okay. Oh, do you have one to no, drink? No, I don't, but I'm going to take this one just in case I get really thirsty. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're ready to go. Um, where are we going? Oh, well, oh, we forgot. We need a map. We got a map. We need direction. Look at, look at this map. <gasps> oh, yes. That X marks the spot. It That's does. where we're going to plant the trees today. Okay. All right. Let me get this all bundled up here. All right. Are you ready, Ellen? I yes, am. Plants are trees. I have another walkie talkie just in case we get lost. Okay. Okay. Forward ho, Ellen. I'm going to oh, grab these. You better grab the, yeah, better have the okay. hands. Okay. Right. See you in a little bit. Bye. <sighs> that was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. But, it, but we did good because, yeah, look at the plants that we planted. We had to follow our map. So, in order to know exactly how to get up the mountain and where to go yes. and what they wanted us to do once we got here. Yes. So let's take a look at the Bible to find out how God led someone up a mountain and gave him directions about how to live. But first, let's go back to the rainforest station. Okay, we got rid of all of our planting stuff and now we've got our Bible. Okay. So let's take a look at the Bible All right. to see how God led someone up the mountain to give him directions on how to live. Well, you know, yesterday we learned about Noah and his family. Yes. They followed God's word. They followed his direction. Yes. 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 And many years later, God used another man who trusted him, and that was Moses. Moses. So Moses asked um, God asked Moses to bring all the believers to the face of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Yes. And this Mount Sinai was all lit up in smoke, oh and it was foggy, and and the mountain trembled greatly. And, and it just, it sounded like a trumpet. And it just got louder and louder and louder. Because and the Lord had descended to the mountain. Yes. And so Moses spoke, and God answered him in thunder. Wow. Yes. And the Lord came down to Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, and he called out to Moses. And so Moses then went up the mountain. So God said, Moses, come up to the top of the mountain. And so Moses climbed the mountain. It was a tough climb. It was a hard climb. Oh, it was. He went up and up and up. And then you know what he grabbed? Or you know what well, God gave Moses him? was up there, yeah. God gave him the Ten Commandments. Woohoo! These were ten rules for living. 
sort of like a map yes. or directions on how to live a life that would please God. When God made the mountain shake and the people saw all that fire and smoke, they were afraid. They were. Yes. In fact, even the idea of ten rules for being perfect was very scary to them. It can be a little scary for us, too. Yes, it yeah. can be. Yeah. Yeah. But Moses reassured the people about why God was giving them the rules. God called them, his people, his treasured possession. Again, treasured possession. Treasured possession. Yes. Well, that means that God loves them. And he loves us, too. Yes, he does. And all of you out there. God was giving people, his people, rules so they knew how to love him and to live in peace and honor him. Put your hands on your heart. Repeat after us. God, God loves and, and treasures, treasures us. us. God loves and treasures okay. us. Oh, okay. okay, so one of the rules, yes, one of the Ten Commandments, one of these Ten Commandments was, you shall have no other gods. Okay, you shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything in the, that is in heaven above or anything that is in the earth beneath or that anything that is in the water or under the earth. No. Nope. And you shall not take the name of your Lord God in vain. Ooh. You shall That's not hold him yeah, guiltless or take his name in vain. Okay. Another one is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yes. Oh, six days you get to labor. Okay. And then the seventh day you rest. Oh, and so, okay, okay, he didn't say Sunday. No. He said, he said six days work, seven days rest. We just observe Sunday as that Sabbath day. Yeah. I get how yeah, that works too. together. So God wants us to love him with all of our hearts, soul, and mind. That means we should love him most. Yes. Put your hand over your heart again and repeat after us. We love God. God. Okay. We, we love God. God. All right. Okay. Ooh. And another one of his rules is honor your father and mother. Oh, that means we have to listen to them? Yes, we do them. have to listen to them. Yes, yes. Uh, another one, you shall not murder. Ooh, no, no, that's not a good one. That's and you shall not commit adultery. Right. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Okay, false witness. What does that mean? I'm thinking it means no lie. <gasps> oh, I can't me. tell a bad story or a small fib or no, a lie can't. against my neighbor. No. Just get, okay, okay. Here's another right. one about our neighbor. Okay. Do you remember it? I do. I do. You shall not covet <laughs> your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife. His male servant, female servant, his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. So, what does that mean? Because I know, like, I don't have an ox or a donkey in my house. I don't have a male servant or a female servant in my house, let me tell you. I get it. I get it. So, like, if my neighbor has things that I, that I think are really super cool. He's got a toy that I would wish I had. We, we can't just go over and take it. Right. We can't. We can't. Um, we can't go borrow their bike without asking. Right. We shouldn't right. be jealous what they have because yes. we should be thankful for what we have. Correct. Am I right on that? You are absolutely right. Okay. We should be happy the neighbor has that stuff yeah. and be happy with what we have. Right. Perfect. So God wants us to love everyone else too. He wants us to love others just as much as we love ourselves. Yes. We can love God by loving the other people he made. Hold up, uh, put your hand over your heart again and repeat after us. We love others. We love others. We love others. I have something to tell you. What's that? I have to confess something. Sometimes, I don't always love God the most. Oh, Ellen, I'm so glad you said that. Uh, I have that problem too. You do? I do. I'm I not do. the only one? No, and sometimes um, I don't love other people. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, you don't? Yes, yes, and my heart just breaks. When I stop to think about it, my does heart just break, breaks. Does that mean we're breaking the Ten Commandments? Yes. God's rules? Yes, it is. We're not living according to His guidance. Oh. So, when I sin, because that's sinning, right? When we that's, break the Ten Commandments. Yes. 
So when I sin, does God still love me? Yes. He does? He does, yes. He loves me? Yes, he loves us so much. And if you are, if you're sorry that you sin, is, is he going to love you too? Yes. He, oh. And if you're sorry when you sin, he loves you too. Oh, God. Okay. Yes. You know, his son Jesus, he never sinned. Oh, he was so good. He was. He never broke the commandments. But Jesus did something really powerful. Jesus did something for my sins. Mm -hmm. He died on the cross. That was amazing. That was the most greatest thing I've ever known. Mm -hmm. He died on the cross, and then he rose again. He did. He rose again. He can do that. And because he did that, you know what? We're yes. forgiven. You're forgiven. We're forgiven. Everybody is forgiven. Yes. Now, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Ten Commandments, they all help me to live in love with, with the help of the Holy Spirit. He makes my heart feel just as good as me. Yes, he does. When, especially when you know you're being forgiven and you have God by your side. Yes. Yes. Hey, Rainforest, Rainforest Explorers, my loving God gives direction. My loving God gives direction. Jesus leads the way. Thank you for joining us today. See you tomorrow.